Well, me hearties, we're back to check out the loot. Here's what we've got. Some of this is demanded by the Coast Guard, and some of it is stuff that we want. So let's have a look, shall we? This is our mooring ball that we're going to dump in the water and uh, connect our boat to. It's a fairly heavy duty mooring ball, but um, eh, it'll do the job. Some of the stuff is for the Coast Guard. You have to have it. This is an interesting piece right here. This is our uh, flare gun. When I was actually on the boat looking at the uh, equipment we had, we came across this, an old 1980s style Olin flare gun. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It still works. I mean, how often do you use a flare gun, right? It's, you know, shotgun style. You stick the cartridge in there, close the, close the barrel and clickety boom. Off goes your flare. But these guys are what the problem is. They're, of course, uh, very, very old and expired. The date of manufacture um, was 1979, which is just about the same time that the boat was originally manufactured. So those are well out of date. I'm sure they'd still work, but um, in terms of relying on them for safety advice, no. And in the intervening years, what has happened is the shells have shrunk. I suppose that's exposure to salty air or something. Um, but there you go. We'll put those down here and uh, we'll show you the difference. Here's an old school shell, hard up against a new school shell. And uh, I'm kind of thinking the old school shells would be better somehow. I don't know why bigger is better, but it just seems to me that if you want to shoot something high up in the air and have a big starburst kind of, you know, come and get me. I'm in trouble. I need some help. This would be the one that you'd want, not one of these, but that's the way things have gone these days. So that's what we'll go with. We've got our flare gun. And we also have to have a waterproof flashlight. So we got this bad boy. Lots of LEDs, and it's very light. It only takes, uh, I think, three uh, AA batteries, and so that'll go in the boat, and it floats. The Eco Horn. This is um, an air-powered noise maker that can be refilled with air simply by using the included air pump. Very nice. And <clears throat> this is also Coast Guard mandatory. It is a boarding ladder. This is a rope boarding ladder that can be um, folded up and stowed away. And that will go on the boat and hopefully we'll never have to use it, but it does not have an expiry date, which is great. And um, if we ever need it, there it is. And then you have to have a floating throwing line. So what about this? Fox 40 rescue throw bag, 50 feet of line. So you it even included a handy dandy trusty little instruction tag there hold this loop when throwing so you hold it here chuck the bag at whoever is drowning and hopefully they have enough sense to grab it and hang on then we have <laughs> the life ring this is also um coast guard required a life ring with a, a floating um, cord attached to it so we just grabbed one of those throwing ones and um, hopefully that will never be used but if it needs to be used there we go it goes on the boat and stays there and then we also have to have a life jacket now Canadian Coast Guard is a little bit different than American or uh, UK Coast Guard that we've got these cheapo universal one-size-fits-all DOT approved jackets and so long as we have those in board we've got uh, about three of them i already have one so we've got four total so four adults uh, can come on board i have children's life jackets stored away somewhere so if we have kids we've got them um i don't think i would want to um trust my health and welfare on one of these guys not that they wouldn't work but i like the inflatable ones where you can got a built-in tether so that you can uh, harness yourself to your boat in rough weather and so on. And then of course, well not of course, but at last, down below here, we have the Jabsco, number world, number one toilet. 
of the world. Start dial, I'll just tie it up. And that's because um, somebody named Vlad here went all vampire on the heads in the uh, boat and uh, they got broken. So I mean, it was just a matter of time till the thing was going to break anyway. So we got this brand new one. So when we have company on the boat, or the ladies or whatever, who don't want to go overboard, <laughs> we have a brand new Gabsco head. There it is. With the, uh, we didn't get the electric one. I think uh, most most people can uh, uh, twist and pull it. Oops. So there we go. Oops. There we go. That's that. And that kind of concludes our uh, tour. Our tour of today's loot that we pillaged from the Eastern Marine. I hope you enjoyed that little demo. demo of all our cool stuff. And of course, there'll be more videos to come when we actually put this on the boat and I'll get the bow sprit going and actually do some sailing. Now, that would be a treat, wouldn't it? So, in the meantime, fair winds.